Syria's embattled president says his troops have received their first shipment of missiles for an advanced air defense system. Russia supplied the weapons after the European Union dropped its arms embargo on Syrian rebels. Anne McMillan is tracking the story from London. Well, the S-300 has been described, Suhan, as one of the most lethal surface-to-air missiles in the world. It's designed to shoot down aircraft and incoming ballistic missiles. It was designed in the late 1960s to defend the Soviet Union from attack. Uh, experts say the presence of these weapons would make Western air forces think twice about establishing a no-fly zone over Syria. Uh, the Russians insist that the deal for the delivery of these missiles was signed with the Syrian government months ago. But coming so soon after the EU, the European Union, agreed to let member countries send arms to Syrian opposition uh, groups, uh, it does raise serious concerns. Uh, those opposition groups are now putting pressure on Britain and France, the two EU countries most likely to supply weapons. Uh, um, th by the way, Israel's foreign minister yesterday said he had information that the missiles had not yet arrived in Syria, but he said ominously, if they were there, Israel would know how to act. An Israeli uh, weapons expert has also said that they're rather large, these things, and so she would be surprised if Israeli intelligence hadn't spotted them being taken into Syria. And Assad gave a rare interview to Hezbollah-controlled TV in Lebanon. What stood out for in that interview, Anne? Well, he's reported to have said that his army has scored major victories against the rebels and now holds the balance of power in the conflict. The interview, which has yet to be broadcast, uh, that's expected to happen later today, was done with a TV station in Lebanon. An interesting choice because uh, the station is linked to Hezbollah, an is Islamic military group, um, which actually has been... Uh, considered a terrorist organization by many countries, including Canada. Uh, in the interview, Assad admits that Hezbollah fighters are working with the Syrian army along the Lebanese border.